when I was in college, uh, we were required to take a 10 hour class in the arts, uh, either in our junior or senior year. Uh, I took it in my junior year, it did fairly well uh, grade wise, but I really enjoyed the class. And Louis Palmer, the professor of the class uh, at the end of my junior year, asked me to teach, to be his teaching assistant um, the following year. So I took the class, the 10 hour class, took it again in my senior year and taught subsections, wrote the, term, or the um, midterms and the finals and graded them all. Um, <clears throat> I've taught art history in uh, three different universities. Um, it's probably the class I love the most of the humanity classes. Um, back 50 years ago, um, I do recall Pablo Picasso saying all children are artists. The, the, the question really is what happens as we grow older? How do we remain an artist when we get older? Um, you know, I read that and yeah, okay. Yeah. But I didn't really get the meaning of it. And now I'm at uh, 72 and have two young grandchildren um, who are going to be three and uh, five in a month or so. And they are artists. Picasso is right. All children are artists. Um, Mother's Day uh, occurred a month or so ago and I said to Jack and Owen, um, let's make something for your mother for Mother's Day. And so um, I got some artificial flowers and little bays and and if you haven't done this with your, your kids or your grandchildren or the neighborhood's kids, do it sometime. Give them an opportunity to express themselves artistically or creatively. Jack and Owen were so excited about what they were doing. Um, <laughs> and Jack was so so much of a firstborn, he was telling his younger brother where to put the flowers in the arrangement. And Owen, who is the baby of the family, kind of sits back and ponders whether he's going to follow his brother's suggestions, um, which he didn't. Um, What's, what's interesting is that our society has a tendency to kind of uh, stomp on creativity, starting as young children, and by the time they become college age or grow up and go out to work, there's not much of a creative urge for most kids. Um, so what I'd like you to do is to read this article. <clears throat> I mean, and it's it's a cute article. I mean, it's just two young grandchildren exploring creativity, and, and it just I mean, that's cute, and it's and it's and it's fun. But more to the point than than my relationship with those two kids is your relationship with the world in which you live. And you have the opportunity to help children express themselves creatively. Um, Jack and Owen and I are already working on plans for uh, creative expression on uh, Father's Day um, coming up in about a month. And it's just, it's fun. But more importantly, it is something that the children can experience and and enliven them through the process. So I hope you enjoy the article, but more to the point is I hope you enjoy doing that with kids in your neighborhood and your family. Um, in the meantime, you take care and thanks for reading this article.